Owning a dog is one of the most wonderful experiences that a human can have. Dogs are joyful, affectionate, and always grateful for their humans. Unfortunately though, caring for a dog is not always easy. Besides the time, stress, and money that is involved with feeding them, walking them, cleaning them, and providing them with medical care, the hardest part about having a furry friend may be the fact that our time with them doesn't last long. After all, our lifespans are so much longer. One woman knew that her beloved old dog, nicknamed Steve Mason, was not going to be with her much longer. Yet his story ended in a way that nobody could have expected. Imgur user said, this is Steve Mason, the most incredible dog I have ever met and my best friend of the past 16 years. And this is the story of how he died, saving my life one last time. Steve Mason, Mason to his friends, was a husky Labrador Rottweiler mutt with insanely fluffy ears and markings on his face that made it look like he was always wearing Harry Potter specs. I picked him out of a litter of puppies because while all the others yipped and squealed and played, he was the only one to stop and snuffle the flowers. He always had this way of perking up his ears that could spur me to keep going, either to the top of a ridge line or out of whatever ridiculous angst I found myself muddled in. It was clear this girl loved her dog and admired his perceptiveness. Little did she know that his sharp senses would come in handy and be fatal one day. She continued, he was obsessed with shortening sticks and tearing up any cardboard he could find. He was extremely meticulous and many a vacuum cleaner died trying to tidy up his messes. Mason was a best friend and rock steady companion for my older brother and a traveling companion like no other. And every time he saw my brother, even if five years had gone by, he'd still try and jump in his arms like a puppy. Everyone who met him came away saying that he was a remarkable dog and many could honestly say he was the nicest person he'd ever met. Mason may not have technically been a person, but it was already abundantly clear that others knew how special he was. Over the past two years, he began to show his age. His hearing and much of his eyesight abandoned him, along with his sense of balance. Every dog owner dreads the day that this happens to their best friends, but they must come to terms with the fact that their pet's health will begin to decline eventually. When the signs of aging begin to show, it's natural to wonder when and how your precious pooch is going to live out his last day. She said, I kept expecting him to die in his sleep or collapse on a hike. My worst fear was that he would grow so old and infirm that we'd have to put him down. I honestly didn't think I'd be able to go through what I've had to do for so many other dogs with him. He was far too special. He just seemed so old, she continued but he just kept on going, refusing to take it easy. He moved slower and couldn't go as far, but he never seemed to mind. This winter, I'd been sure to get as many adventures in with him as possible, knowing our days together might be numbered. On March 5th, he and I, along with my family's three younger dogs, took off for what was meant to be a quick hike around our property before I had to go to work. We were about a mile from home on our snowshoe trail when I noticed a figure following us about a quarter mile back. I recognized it as a wolf right away. I hadn't seen a wolf in my valley for about 15 years, but wolves are shy and usually hide from humans, especially one with four dogs. Trying to be respectful, I turned us towards home, thinking we'd give the wolf room to escape and think no more about it. A few minutes later, the littlest dog gave a bark and I turned to see the wolf standing five feet behind us. She was huge her shoulder nearly coming up to my hip. She looked scared but determined, and most of all, she looked hungry. We were in trouble. She attacked and we spent the next 20 minutes trying to fight her off. I was hitting her with my ski poles while the dogs nipped and tried to avoid her teeth. She was weak, but a good fighter. Mason and I ended up fighting side by side. The wolf kept staring me in the eyes, but it was clear she was after the dogs. She finally pinned the smallest dog and Mason lunged at her. Suddenly, my frail old man looked huge, bigger than I'd ever seen him before. He knocked her off the puppy, but she got Mason by the throat. It was over in a split second. 
I've never screamed so loud. Every fiber in my being was telling me to kill her, stab her in the eye, tear her throat out if I could. But that would have only gotten me killed too. And there were three other dogs I had to get out of there. It was too late anyway. He was dead and she was eating him. This is the wolf. This picture was taken the morning after by some guards in the nearby border station where she wandered past. Though all I wanted to do in the moment was kill her, she really is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And now that it's done, I hold no hate for her. She was starving to death and did what she had to to survive. I think she went into the fight knowing she might be the one to get killed, and it was simply the luck of the draw that she got him first. I only hope she leaves this valley safely. I miss Mason like there's a hole in my chest, though I know there was nothing else I could have done. I can't escape the thought that I failed to save him, but most dogs at 16 die by the fireside, slowly and painfully of old age. Mason went out of this world like a thunderbolt, saving my life and the lives of three younger dogs. He was my puppy, my grizzly, my brother, my friend, and he died as he lived, my hero. I love you, buddy. Goodbye. Mason may have died in one of the most tragic, violent ways that one could imagine, but he will always be remembered as a true lifesaver. What a powerful, emotional tale that his owner chose to share with the world.